Middlesex fight hard at the Oval before play is abandoned due to a security incident. Surrey earned a minor first innings lead of 33 runs on day two after they were bowled out for 280. Middlesex managed to reduce that margin by 15 runs before stumps but were unable to make any more progress on day three with the entire day lost to rain. With Compton unable to resume his innings due to a back spasm, Eskenazi joined Robson at the crease. It wasn't easy for the batsman, with the Surrey bowlers getting the ball to move around, and with the scores level, Curran picked up two quick wickets in the same over. Robson caught behind for 21, and Voges removed for a duck caught by Clark. Curran was on fire, and Middlesex was suddenly in trouble, as the young bowler sent Eskenazi on his way for six. In came Sterling, who attempted to push the score along, but he soon became young Ryan Patel's first victim, bowled for 12. That brought Franklin to the crease, who ticked the score along with Simpson. There was another bit of drama, though, on the stroke of lunch, as Clark found the outside edge to dismiss the Middlesex captain for 15. At the break, Middlesex were only ahead by 53 runs, and there was still no sign of Compton after lunch, with Roland Jones joining Simpson at the crease. He soon found himself back in the pavilion, though, out caught and bowled by Clark for a duck. Middlesex were now in serious danger of defeat, just 63 runs ahead with four wickets left. But new batsman Rayner supported Simpson brilliantly as the wicketkeeper batsman reached his half century and extended Middlesex's lead past 100. Meeker eventually brought the 64 run partnership to an end, trapping Rayner in front for 30, which finally brought Compton to the middle. The opening batsman resumed on six and was accompanied by a runner, and Surrey made sure he felt even more uncomfortable bowling aggressively. Compton fought hard for his side though and batted through until tea with Simpson, the score 195 for seven at the interval. Middlesex led by 162 runs going into the evening session, and an interesting finish was still in prospect, providing Surrey took quick wickets. Compton and Simpson remained solid though. Play was then abandoned due to a security incident involving an arrow or crossbow bolt being fired into the oval cricket ground. A controlled evacuation took place and there were no reported injuries. An extraordinary end to proceedings and the match finished in a draw. Both sides remain mid-table and will be eager for wins in round 13.